Hello, welcome back to my channel. I'm your girl, Sincerely KSO. If it is your first time to my channel, welcome. If you're a returning subscriber, welcome back, my darlings. So we're gonna take a look at a short history of slavery. <laughs> this is a very sensitive topic to for me. I don't know what's going on. After I did my Thomas reaction a beautiful patron of mine requested that I please read this book I ordered it on Amazon it just arrived and I am five pages in and um, I love reading I love reading I enjoy learning about things pushing the boundary my father encouraged me my mother encouraged me to always read I am aware as to the facts, figures of slavery. I, I'm black. I know about my heritage. I was born in Nigeria. I currently live in Canada with my family, but it's a very sensitive topic. And I, I believe in being honest and true and open-minded, even in my conversation, even when I don't agree. So that's why I'm open to watching this clip. I do hope, because a lot of my patrons know that I don't like gory details or videos or clips because, you know, I don't like that. But um, so I'm hoping that this doesn't have any. Mm. All right, let's just dive into it. Play. And now for a brief history of slavery. Can Here's the move. first thing you need to know. Okay. Slavery was not invented by white people. I know that. It did not start in 1619 when the first slaves came to Jamestown. I know it that. It existed before then. It did not start in 1492 when Columbus discovered the New World. In fact, when the intrepid explorer landed in the Bahamas, intrepid. the native Taino tribe hoped that he would help them defeat their aggressive neighbors, the Caribs. The Caribs enslaved the Taino and, on occasion, served them for dinner. Slavery existed in Africa, Asia, and the Middle East. The word slave actually comes from the Slavs of Eastern Europe. Mm -hmm. Millions of them, all white by the way, were captured and enslaved by Muslims in the 9th century and later by the Ottoman Turks. Slavery existed when the Roman Empire controlled the Mediterranean True. and most of Europe from the 1st through the 5th centuries. True. Slavery existed when Alexander the Great conquered Persia in True. the 4th century BC. True. It was so common that Aristotle simply considered it natural. Mm -hmm. The slave master model was just how the world operated in the great philosopher's day. Slavery existed during the time of the ancient Egyptians 5,000 years ago. As far back as we can go in human history, we find slavery. As renowned historian John Steele Gordon notes from Time Immemorial, slaves were a major item of commerce. As much as a third of the population of the ancient world was enslaved. Here's the second thing you need to know. I didn't know that number. White people were the first to formally put an end to slavery. Mm. In 1833, Britain was the first country in the history of the world to pass a Slavery Abolition Act. They were quickly followed by France, who in 1848 abolished slavery in her many colonies. Then, of course, came the 13th Amendment in the United States Constitution. After centuries wow. of human slavery, white men led the world in putting an end to the abhorrent practice. That includes the 300,000 Union soldiers, overwhelmingly white, who died during the Civil War. Now, am I saying that this makes white people better than anyone else? Mm -hmm. Of course not. My purpose here is to simply tell the truth, and the truth is that human history is complicated. No one, regardless of skin color, stands guiltless. Yet today, we are never told to consider the murderous Persian Empire or the cannibalism of indigenous tribes of North and South America or the heinous actions under the imperialistic Muslim, Chinese, Mongol, or Japanese empires, to name just a few. Instead, we're told that slavery is a white phenomenon. Mm. And like all persistent lies, this lie spawns a bunch of other lies. On social media, I come across extraordinary depictions about how Africans lived like pharaohs before Europeans came and laid waste to their paradise. I wish any of this were true, but it's not. 
Savannah said. No, it's not. The truth is that Africans were sold into slavery yes, by other, by other Africans. Africans. Yes, and in many but cases, the... sold for items as trivial as gin and mirrors. Listen, listen, pause, pause, pause. Let's, okay. So, the, like I said, a broken clock is right to, to, two times a day, right? And um, it's true. After, my father did tell me this and I did go because in, in my culture, in my academic years, even in Nigeria, students are allowed to go to the shore to see the process of slavery, the chains, the, how they get, got into the inner land, you know, those sort of details. So what, what, what my education, Candace is not at African, didn't grow up in Africa. I did. I've seen this and I know our books. I know our own write-ups. I know that history has been distorted over the course of years, but to, to say that they didn't leave, <laughs> leave a, a great life or as royalty isn't true. It's, Every, there was hierarchy, just the same way the Queen of England lived in her palace and she still had beggars at her on the streets of England. That's the same thing with Africa. Why do you think that every, do you think everybody had a title? No, everyone didn't have a title. There were rich Africans and there were poor Africans, like every society. So don't make it seem like there was no royalty, that there was no, and, and that's why I'm pausing. Secondly, it is true because they didn't know the language. People were coming in. The story we were told, as we were told, is that slavery was not the first exchange. Friendship was. Language learning was. They didn't come like, oh, we're going to yank, give us your people. Da -da 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 -da. That's not how it happens. If you come into any society and be that aggressive for it, they're going to start fighting. So it was a slow introduction. The exchange of gin was not for humans trans or oh, take, give me gin, take person. It was in getting to know we are a culture where we eat food, people, party, um, Pam Nods. Pam. There was the exchange. There was the business exchange of fruits, trade, trading by butter. We, we, we had leather. We had this. We had wine. We had this. Take your, take our own fermented wine, palm wine. Take yours. Oh, well, really? Is this how you drink? We drink. You learn the language. There was that friendship and culture. The different exchange of a visitor coming in. Like people don't, I don't understand when people do this research and they only read books that were cultured by a different people. They, you have to read and see both sides and also think about the information you're spewing. Who goes into another person's country? Take gin, give me a human being. Take Miro, give me a human being. Ugh. That is, that is fallacy. That is fantasy. That part she got wrong. It didn't start out as slavery. She's also right when they say it didn't. It's common sense. Every society, every culture, every continent, they all had slaves. Everybody, everybody. I'm sure even if you trace my ancestors to maybe one of them might have been royalty or one of them might have been slavery. But um, when I traced my ancestry, I'm actually, my last name is Santos. So there was, uh, the Portuguese came into Lagos through the Lagos Island, which is water, fish, crabs. That was how they came in because we were, the Lagos Island where I was born is strongly known for fishing. And, you know, that Brazilian and Portugal, the Brazilians came, Portuguese came as well. You know, they had that um, business relationship and exchange taking place before. This was years when they learned the language. Slavery was not the first point of entering a person's land and then you begin to take their people as slaves. They think, think people. All right. I just wanted to get that out there. So this exchange that they're talking about was not for, based on even our medicine. Our medicine, a lot of them were dying and we taught them how to survive things like mosquito bites, uh, even certain snakes that they didn't know, we, even hunting. Like there were so many, there was, it wasn't that they arrived in 2000 and then t t January 2000 and by February they were taking slaves. No, they, 
you arrived 2000 and then maybe 2005 2010 slavery exchange because they didn't they didn't go back immediately their ships they had to s settle they had come do you know how long it took them to get you think it was immediately they went back okay now we yank your people and take no it was a slow integration some of these people even married women I'm, I, let me not shout okay play and mirrors Whites didn't go into the interior and round up the natives. Mm. They waited on the coast for their black partners to bring them black they bodies. On the, coast. the stark reality is that our lives had very little value to our ancestors. Here's the third thing you need to know. If you think slavery is a relic of the past, you're wrong. There are some 700,000 slaves in Africa today, right now. That's the lowest estimate that I could find. Other sources say there are many more. For context, that's almost twice as many slaves as were ever brought to the United States. Child soldiers, human trafficking, forced labor, these are the conditions that currently exist within the same sub-Saharan region where the transatlantic slave trade originated. African bodies are being sold today like they were sold then, and no, they are not being purchased by any country of white men. In fact, slavery, by any traditional definition, is exclusively practiced today within non-white countries. But we hear almost nothing about that. Just like we hear nothing about how slavery was universal until good people in Europe and America ended it two centuries ago. Why? Because our so-called leaders, black and white, wouldn't profit from it. Black victimhood is nothing if not profitable. It elects politicians and funds racial grievance groups. And if black Americans began to view themselves as partners in the American dream, if we embraced the patriotic spirit that holds all men are created equal, the patriotic spirit that is our real heritage, then the race hustlers would soon be out of business. And who wants that? I'm Candace Owens, author of Blackout for Prager University. Okay. And like I said, there are always two sides to every story. Uh, uh, 80% or well, I'll say 75, 80% of what she said is true about slavery. And that it's still existing in Africa today is true. People with, when you, if you interpret slavery as minimum wage, um, even no wage, it does happen till today. But not only, I, I, I want in in she's right it does exist people are in even even what is so painful is that i even remember seeing the news once and i think some black africans were trying to cross maybe from ghana to algeria i don't know where it was or from nigeria to algeria and these people algerians were treating black africans like rags treating them so badly it is true that i have seen in the news not personally i've not been there to see in the news um i've also seen in china how people live all their lives serving someone not getting any wage slavery i've seen in america stories of women breaking free and then you find out that they lived in this cult island and this man had was impregnating people. That is a form of slavery in itself. But when she says that the highest amount based on her research, on her research, that the highest amount of slavery is in Africa till today, is can that be true? Honestly, I think it can except china has honestly i think it can i think it can because the manipulation and the entrenched self-hate self-hate there is a deep hatred that i find a lot of african countries have for each other and it didn't need, i don't i don't i don't know what causes it i don't know i don't know like when i even talked to my friends about it i was like why would 
why would another African nation like enslave? Why you wear the same skin? It, it like if a I don't I don't want to agree with it, but you know if a white person does something to me, I'm like okay, maybe he doesn't see me as his himself because we're two different colors, skin, hair, eyes, everything. They don't love me the way as you love yourself. Okay, but you're black. Like if I saw in a room of white people, if I saw Candace, I would see because we are the same color. So I find it so painful that that is a truth. And I can't deny, like, it is a truth. I I know people who have, are, have hired people and they don't pay them. I cut them off from my life. Like, I, I can't, and I, I that one I know, they don't whip you. They don't chain you to the door and whip you like, you know, olden day slavery, chain, you know, put chains on your hand. But I know you're not paying this person. And you're not paying them well enough for them to have anything in their lives. That is that is just um whew, whew, okay. I don't want to cry. It's um it's a very difficult, and I'm sure every culture, every continent can. You know, you hear things about Australia, you hear about China, you hear what's going on in North Korea or South Korea, you hear, you know, certain remote places in the, I just, I just, I, it's pretty impressive that when the abolition of slavery, that the British were actually the very first to say, listen, let's pass a law that everybody in the world knows would it, it, whether it it changed immediately or it took, but there was something that led to that. There was a spark of kindness or light. It says this thing isn't good. Let's make it. You know what I mean. And great things ha happen when we have a spark of light and say, "Oh, let's make a change. Let's make a change." And I'm I'm happy they did. I'm happy that they did. It's. It must, it's a bold move. It must have been a bold move then as well because they would have come, a lot of people were profiting, are still profiting over of slavery. And to be a nation that stood out and says, I want us to pass something that ends this. Even if it doesn't happen immediately, let's set the, the, the act in motion. Let's at least vocalize this and then work our way with the resistance you know what i mean it, it's it nothing good comes easy oh 